Now, we've talked about the news already, so here to address something more personal, please welcome one of my writers, Jenny Hagel, everybody. Hello. How's it going, Jenny? Hi, Seth. So, uh, what is it that you want to talk about? Well, this weekend, I took my four-year-old son to the zoo, and while we were there, I saw something that really upset me. And what was that? While I was in line to buy tickets, I saw two straight women pretend to be gay so they could get a family discount. Oh. Yeah. I'm gay, and it was very clear that they were lying. And when the ticket agent didn't believe them, they started yelling loudly about how the zoo is not gay-friendly. And did it work? Did they get the discount? They did not. They had to pay eight more dollars, and they were pissed. So, if it's okay with you, I just wanted to take a moment to deliver a message to the two women I saw at the zoo. Okay. Don't pretend to be a lesbian to save eight dollars. <laughs> This went without saying, but apparently it doesn't. Apparently it requires an announcement and a special graphic. So, don't pretend to be a lesbian to save $8. <laughs> I don't think this is something that's happening a lot, but just in case it is, I thought I should say it. So, being gay is a real thing. And while it's a wonderful experience for many people, it also brings some real hardship. Like, when I came out, I had to leave the church I grew up in because I wasn't welcome there. I don't want to disparage any church, so I'll just say that the name of it rhymes with Mathlick. <laughs> and it's run by a guy whose name rhymes with the schmope. Okay, so a uh, quick little question. How did you know they weren't lesbians? Great, great question. They were each pushing a double stroller, which means if they were married to each other, they'd have four kids. No one can afford to have four kids in New York. You'd have to be billionaires. <laughs> And if there were two lesbian billionaires married to each other in America, I would know about it. Still, that doesn't sound very conclusive. Okay. All right. How about this? While they were in line, one of them said to the other, I've been called for jury duty five times in the last six months. And the other one was like, oh, my God, really? If you got called for jury duty five times in six months, your wife would know about it. You wouldn't keep it secret, quietly getting out of it five times in a row, and then finally think, I need to tell Brenda about this. <laughs> but I need to wait until we're at the zoo. <laughs> what was your son during doing all this? Doing during all this? Um, he was picking his nose. Oh, does he pick his does he pick his nose a lot? Is the schmope math lick? <laughs> Look, I get it. Everyone wants to be a lesbian. We're seen as very cool, stylish people with great shoes and haircuts. I I don't know if you're known for your haircuts. Oh, we're not? Then why did you steal one of them? Touche. <laughs> but if there's one thing we can all take away from the story, it's, and, and everyone, please say it with me, don't pretend to be a lesbian, lesbian to, to save $8. $8. You got it. Thank you. Give it up for Jenny Hagel.